Hello, this is Pete, or Kench1913. Along with Mom and, and we Stella. Have Stella. And today we're going to be making some banana cream pie. And Stella has a banana. Nana, can you say it? Yeah. Banana. Shoot. Hi, Hi, Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we have... A store-bought pie crust. Yep. This you get in the refrigerator section. Yep. You could also use a pie crust that you buy in the freezer section. The pie crust is all yeah. made. Or you can make or your you own. Or can, you can make your own. Um, or you can even use a graham cracker crust. Yep. So what, are, what so else we got? So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to do. We got bananas. Today we're making a banana cream pie. This happens to be a pie mix. You yeah. can also just get like the mighty fine uh, banana cream. Yeah. This, this is, I believe it's instant, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, milk, whatever it calls for to make it. Bananas. We'll have what you need in the video description. Whipped cream. Yeah. And in the whipped cream, you're going to put a little vanilla, a little oh, bit of sugar. granulated sugar, and I put a little bit of Crisco in the pie tin. Yeah. And then you'll, you'll need a uh, hand electric mixer yeah. as well for both the banana cream and the whipped cream. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so just as in our uh, our uh, lemon meringue pie. Yeah, we did a we did one previously. Yeah. Just gonna roll out your. This one should be easier because we let it sit out a lot longer. And we're gonna just put it in here. But you you know if you want to use a graham cracker crust or like a chocolate cookie crust for this, this would be good for it too. We're just using up our. Uh, our pie uh, crust here. Yeah, we happen to have some, so we you don't want it to hell? stay in the refrigerator too long. So yeah, what are we doing again? This we're is making called, a blind. This is called blind bake. Blind bake. Mm -hmm. um, some people have um, little stones that they can put or um, beans. beans. Um, they they actually sell stuff that you can put in it. You mm -hmm. could also there's some some pie tins that have an insert yeah so you would put it in here and then you would stick the thing on top yeah and now what do you what's this your, what is this technique called that you're doing here I'm just crimping, crimping this it, yeah. so yeah pretty much this, this recipe if you watched our uh, um, lemon meringue pie this is pretty similar to uh, what what uh, what you do for that but we have my mom hasn't made a banana cream pie in a long time so so what we're going to do, right, she's going to crimp the sides, as you can see. Then we're going to throw it in the oven, but before that we're going to poke some holes in it. Right, because you want, um, you want to make sure that it'll, the pie crust will puff up a little yeah. bit, and so you don't want to have big bubbles in it, and that's why um, you, you poke holes or have the um, beans or, uh, or ba whatever. baking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now we have preheated our oven to 350. You can uh, you can kind of preheat to whatever the hell you want. Um, the thing about it is you just gotta kind of let this get golden brown. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, 350, 375. I wouldn't go any higher than that because then it'll cook too quick and it'll brown without cooking actually. Yeah. Okay, so we put our. Uh, four coals around yeah, and then we're just gonna throw this in the oven and put this in the oven until it um, bakes and just it's like, about 10 maybe 15 minutes yeah and just like the other uh, just like the other pie crust that we did for the other episode you could do this ahead of time and have it all ready for when you want to start your mixture and whatnot so let's start that okay so what we're gonna do is have a, a bowl to do yeah. our mix in yeah because we're gonna do the banana cream first and the thing about the banana cream is we're using like a sort of an instant kind of pudding mix. But if you want, you can kind of make your own pudding. Your own banana cream pudding. I know my buddy, uh, Chris, he ended up uh, one time made his own banana pudding. He like, he like uh, put the bananas in the oven. He like literally went all out. Maybe one day we'll do that. But for the time being, we're just going to use the store bought. This is sort of a semi-homemade kind of thing again. So what do you have there? This, this, is just is, the, this is just the filling. And what was the other packet? Um, because this was a whole total uh, pie uh, mixture, it also had uh, a topping yeah. uh, for it, which we're not going to use. We're going to actually use the whipped cream 
And um, so we're going to make the pudding, mm -hmm. put that to the side. Yeah. We're going to make our whipped cream. We're yeah. actually going to fold in some of our whipped cream into the banana yeah. um, pie mixture and then put additional whipped cream on top. All right, cool. So you just got to kind of follow, I guess, the instructions of the pudding mixture, which is what was that? So this, two this, cups? this was one and a half cups of cold milk. Cold. And usually you're much better off using whole milk when you're making any kind of pudding because yeah. if you use a low fat or a skim milk it, you won't get the consistency and it won't uh -huh. thicken. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start beating this. Yeah. A banana cream pie is one of my favorite types of like cream pie because I, I, I like bananas. They're very good. And yeah so my mom is pretty much just going to Blend this until it's uh, till it's at a thicker consistency. You can kind of see that it's getting thicker. Yeah. Okay, here we are. See, you can tell that the pudding is done. Yeah, it's pretty and thick. And so then we're just going to put this into the refrigerator to stay cold mm -hmm. until our pie shell is ready. Yeah. So let's start making our whipped cream, right? Because aren't we going to fold that in? Or we yes, we're going to fold. We're going to fold some of the whipped cream in, but we want to keep this nice and cold. Okay. So in let's, the meantime, so we're going to make our whipped cream next. Yes. Okay. Um, we're going to take our whipped cream. Yeah. This is a pint of whipping cream. Yeah. Or you can use heavy cream. Um, is there such a thing as heavy whipping cream? No, it's it's heavy cream right, or whipping cream. Yeah, there's not. It's, but you for, don't don't use don't use light cream. It won't beat up. No, but heavy cream wouldn't be good. Or can you use that? Yes, you can. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, my mom's made whipped cream many 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 times before. But this this might be the last time we'll show you how to do this because it's very easy. We're going to put in about um, a good heaping tablespoon of granulated sugar. Yeah. You can actually use powdered sugar if you want. Mm -hmm. And then I throw in probably about a teaspoon or so, a little bit more of um, Vanilla. vanilla, pure vanilla. Now we're gonna just gonna. Use this is gonna. We're gonna show you, but then whipping this will take a little bit of time, so we'll show you the end product. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what she's gonna basically whip this until it's got what soft peaks? No, nice stiff peaks. Nice stiff peaks. And this is gonna take a couple minutes, so we're not gonna just sit here and show you whipping it, but we will. Uh, we'll come back when it's all set. Okay, here we are. See our whipped cream? Look how nice and thick it is. See that again? See? There you go. Very thick. And, um, and one of the things that I do uh -huh. is I put my bowl before I'm going to uh, whip do my whipped cream. These uh -huh. are just little tricks. Keep your whipped cream in the refrigerator yeah, until, you until you're going to use, use it. Put your bowl in the refrigerator as well mm -hmm. so that when you take it everything out and you're ready to whip it, it actually will whip a little bit quicker because um, the bowl is cold as well mm -hmm. one of the things also I just wanted to mention we said this is whipping cream if you use heavy cream you have to be careful because you can actually whip it and make butter because that's what butter is it's cream that is whipped and whipped and whipped and whipped and then they put a little bit of salt in it and you'll make a light butter mm. so you just have to be careful and you'll actually see on heavy cream this color will start to turn a pale yellow mm. so um, you just got to be careful when you're using heavy cream yeah, that's pretty interesting so now we're going to fold this in with the banana pudding uh, only a, a little portion bit. of it yeah probably about maybe a third of it you think yeah, now see? You have yourself Look the, how see how nice and thick that is? Yeah, it isn't coming anywhere. Okay. So, so now we're gonna take yeah, about about a third and we're gonna fold it in. Folding is it's different than mixing. Yes, because what you wanna do is you wanna be able to leave some of the ear yeah. in the whipped cream mm -hmm. or the meringue. Yeah, whatever you're using. So this is just making it almost double in even size. A, even a Cool Whip, too, yeah. 
Yes, the other, the other thing I was going to mention is if you don't want to use whipped cream, you could actually use Cool Whip yeah. for both um, the filling and the topping of the pie. Yeah, so what you want to do is just kind of uh, get it all kind back of gently in gently folding it Yeah, and get it back it. to yellow, I think. And it doesn't have to be absolutely 100% uh, folded. This is, this is pretty, this is pretty yeah. good. So then we're just going to throw both of these things back in the fridge until our pie crust is ready. Right. And it's and then golden we're brown. Show and show you how to assemble everything. Yeah, and we'll also have to let the pie crust cool, obviously. So that's another little bit. Okay, here we are. The pie crust is ready. Yeah, this is what it looks like when it should be about golden brown. And we let it cool. So now my mom, we're going to cut banana slices into the pie crust on the bottom. Now you can do this really any way that you want. You don't want to make your slices too too big. There you go. I'm sorry, you just have to, so we can see you cutting it. So what is that? Maybe a quarter of an inch thick? Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to layer them all along the bottom. Mm -hmm. okay? And one banana should do, right? Yeah, it depends. This is These are kind of a medium sized banana. It should be, oh, sorry, yeah. it should be okay. Now, the other step that you can do is um, you, some people like to have more banana in it. Mm -hmm. So you can either even double layer this if you want. Mush up some bananas and put it in your pudding. You could, yes, you can. You can, you can uh, smash some banana and put it in your pudding. Yeah. You could also put some of your pudding down, put like a, a, and then, and so put a layer of the pudding and then put another layer of bananas. Mm -hmm. um, some people like uh, bananas on on the very top, on top of the whipped cream. That that would be fine if you're going to be using your pie right away. Um, but if you're going to be be uh, um, waiting for a while to use it, you don't want to put your bananas on top of the whipped cream, only because you know the bananas start to turn brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what we're going to do now is pour the pudding on top. All right, now what we're doing is just my mom's just dumping the banana pudding mixture on and just kind of mixing it, in. spreading it. Yeah. Now what are we what is our plan our second Well, banana? I think what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to put some bananas in the, in middle. the middle and then I'm going to put the rest and then um, and so you're going to do on the top, yeah. not on top of the whipped cream, but on the top before the whipped cream goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting like extra bananas. It's wonderful. It's a banana cream pie. Yeah. Now on this middle layer, mm. I'm actually using I'm making the bananas thinner mm -hmm. than I did on the very bottom. Yeah, because you don't want uh, it to be too, too thick. Yeah. And and I'm not even putting them quite as close as I did on the, on uh, the, on the bottom. Yeah. Um, because you just want to be able to get uh, an extra banana slice uh, in your slice of pie. Yeah. Okay. And we're scooping the rest of our pudding mm -hmm. in there, trying to get every last little bit out of the, the pudding mixture. Yeah. Now, now, I think I mentioned this, but you could use like the cooked pudding one, like my mom used last time for the lemon meringue, but uh, you don't have to. We're using the instant, so it's a good idea to try to eat it as soon as possible, which won't be a problem in our house. So now you're just going to even it out, right? Mm-hmm. And then we're going to get our whipped cream put on top. Yeah, we're going to use the rest of our banana here. And then um, on top of our whipped cream, you can put shavings of chocolate, you could put um, little sprinkles, you could put nuts. Mm -hmm. um, some people even drizzle a little chocolate mm -hmm. uh, syrup, so it would be like you know almost having a um, banana, banana uh, split. Yeah. Mm, now we're just gonna spread the whipped cream. Hell, we we may not even need to use all that. 
But yeah. Well, if you have some whipped cream left over, you put it in a container. You can put it in your coffee. In your you can tea. put it on top of ice cream. And your tea. You can put it in tea uh, uh, instead of a creamer. Yeah. There's a million uh, uses for it. Yeah, but then this one. It's not going to be a lot. This looks left delicious. Over anyway. Oh my god, this looks good. Oh man, oh man. Okay. I'm just going to put a few little shots on it to make it pretty. Mm hmm. Making sure I got it all covered. Mm. You want to make it pretty as a presentation, yeah, and then yeah, after yeah. that, people just want to dig now, in. Now, let me ask you this. Can you just, let, uh, you can just eat this right now, right? You don't have to let it sit or anything like that? No. But I hear the longer that you, if you wanted to, you can let this sit for a few hours and then eat it, but we're going to eat it right away. All right, look at this cream pie. Doesn't it look great? Now we're just going to... I'm just putting a little... A little bit of sprinkles, or jimmies, or shots, or whatever you call them. Right on top. You can put as many or as less as you want. And like I said, you can put nuts on it. Um, I'm going to put a little of drizzle of chocolate. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. Lovely. Look at this. So let's let's cut us up a piece and have some. Yeah. Yes. And this is our banana cream pie. Oh, I'm um, And yeah. Stella's here too. Yeah, she got Stella her... just got her jammies yeah. on while we were, were cooking. And look at this. Ooh, look at these. Mm. Say hi. Mmm. Banana. You want? It's so good, it's light. Look. Ah. Mmm. Mm. Even the baby likes it. Mmm. So this is a really light and delicious pie that you can have for yourself. So this has been Pension 1913 or P, along with Mom and Stella. And this has been another Cooking with Kenshin 1913. And she wants more. <laughs> Enjoy and happy eating. Bye-bye. Mm.